Merhaba, ben Çiğdem Yorgancıoğlu. Çiğ Çiğ Talks serisinin Art Çiğ Talks'una yeniden hoş geldiniz. Programımız bazen İngilizce, bazen iki dilli olacak. Ve bu kez yurt dışından bir konuğumuz var. Türkiye'de yaşayan Lübnanlı bir fotoğraf sanatçısı. Ünlülerin fotoğraf sanatçısı Haluk Bilginer ilk rastladığımız isimlerden bir tanesi. Öteki isimler mi ne? Bekleyelim onlar da sürpriz olsunlar. Az sonra söyleşimizde hepsinin isimlerini alacağız. Ferrari'ler, motor, bot, cross fotoğrafları, medya fotoğrafları pek çok konuda fotoğraflar çekiyor. Ve Amerika'da e, aynı zamanda Kuveyt'te, Dubai'de pek çok çalışmalar yapmış, uluslararası ünvanlar almış değerli bir fotoğraf sanatçısı Nasır Yunus'la birlikteyiz. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chi Chi Talks series. So this is our Chi Talks. And today we are with a famous, actually world famous, and his motto is I own the globe. I think so. Yeah, well, so he is uh, He's very famous, not only in Turkey, all over the globe, and originally he's from Lebanon. Nasser you. Yunus, welcome. Thank you, thank you very much. How are you doing? Fine, fine, thank you very much. I'm uh, happy to be with you on this program, actually. Yeah, thank we, you very we, much. It was, uh, uh, the, the last time we, uh, we uh, chat was uh, during pandemics, actually. It yes, was an online yes. it chat. It was difficult uh, to meet. Uh, yes, yes, uh, well, so, uh, w w could you please tell us about uh, your life and how it started and uh, I, I, you started from Lebanon and then to uh, New York and then to Kuwait and to Dubai and to Istanbul uh, after 2002, <laughs> I suppose. So. To Istanbul, uh, 2018 I 2018. moved here. 2018, oh, okay. But 2001, it was my first visit to Istanbul. Oh, okay. Uh, and it was, uh, I live now in Tuzla, the same place I visited 2001. Hello. So I was here to do a reportage uh, and photography for uh, uh, shipyard photography and story about uh, marine industry in Turkey. So I came from the airport to Tuzla. And then I traveled after three days. Was it a coincidence or yeah. planned? No, no, no. It was oh. just by chance, yeah. And uh, I covered the stories about marine industry, and I made photography, and then I left back to Kuwait. I was in Kuwait that time. After 20 years, now I'm living in Tuzla, same place I visit first time in Turkey. Hayat tesadüflerle dolu tabii. Yani seneler sonra 2001'de başladığı yolculuk Tuzla'da tekrar 2018 senesinde yeniden oluşuyor. Ama farklı farklı konseptlerle geliyor fotoğraf sanatçımız. So, uh, and what did you do in States actually? No, the New York Photography and City of Photography, you do courses with them. So it was a photography courses. I started photography when I was nine years old. Yeah. Uh, very little. I used to be the family photographer. And then I stuck to cameras. And my uncle, he chose me to take his wedding photo in 1979. He was nine years old. <laughs> and <laughs> Later, after like seven years, eight years, I took this camera from him as a gift for myself. I, I took it as a gift. I didn't ask his permission. I borrowed and I keep it with me. And I started to do a motorsports photography. So since 87, officially, I am a motorsport photographer. Evet. I was 17 years old. 87'den beri motorsport e, fotoğrafı oluyor ve makineyi adeta sahipleniyor yani vermem diyor. Benim diyor yani. It's mine. It's, It's mine. mine. <gülüyor> my uncle, my uncle is not a photographer. <gülüyor> so why he need it? I said you don't need it. When you need it you borrow it from me. <gülüyor> Then of course I bought my own cameras and I became more professional and I start to study photography uh, in Kuwait University I studied. And then uh, in Lebanon. What did you study? Journalism uh, over there? Or no, journalism on? in Lebanon. Oh, okay. But in Kuwait, just photography. 
uh, for technique photography, like you, you know when you go inside the dark room and you do developing mm -hmm. black and white and color and uh, diapositive, the film. So since that time, I am into photography as a technical person. And then after 1990, I started to do, uh, again, uh, motorsports, water sports. Uh, you know, I, I never did any, for example, wedding. I don't do wedding. I don't do any um, standard photography. I always choose to go to something difficult. Yes. Yani hiç böyle bu, e, water sports sporları, motor sporlar, ondan sonra bir daha düğün fotoğrafları falan uğraşmadım bile diyor. Yani ben hep standart dışı olan başka şeylerin arayışındaydım ve o fotoğrafları uh, çektim. Uh, later I, I joined uh, the French news agency, Agence France Press. Mm -hmm. uh, I became a journalist photographer with the French news agency from Kuwait. From Qatar, from Dubai, from anywhere in the Gulf. So GNC countries. The yeah, GCC Gulf. countries. Yeah, GCC. So I became photographer with uh, Agence France Press uh, until 2008, when I was in Dubai also. So, but during this time, I am doing commercial photography, advertisement. We, I photograph food, air, airplanes, hotels, cars. You know, in studio. We do advertisement, reklam, we say in Turkish. Evet, evet, reklam fotoğraflarını, yeah. ondan sonra da reklam fotoğraflarına girmemiz. Uh, and by, by, time, by time I wanted to do art photography and I found the chance in Turkey is much better uh, where I lived before in Dubai because here in Turkey the art is more open. The ideas of art, it's more uh, precious, precious and more uh, valuable. Şimdi e, tabii sanatçımız diyor ki yani ben e, ondan sonra da bu ticari işlerden sonra e, birden sanat e, fotoğrafçılığına doğru geçmek istedim ve bu arayışlarımın içinde baktım ki Türkiye'deki e, yapıya da e, baktığımda e, Türkiye'nin e, bu e, sanatın değerini daha bileceğini e, düşündüm ve Türkiye'ye doğru yönlendim diyor. Bakalım yolculuğu nasıl geçmiş. So since I came here 2017 as a visit visiting uh, before I settle here, I wanted to photograph some actors in my mind. And I thought it's easy, I can go somewhere, find them and ask for photo. Oh, birden fotoğraf, sanat fotoğrafçılığı derken, bu arada aktörleri ve sanatçıları araştırmaya başlıyor. Bakalım bu işi nereden girecek, <laughs> merak it, ediyoruz. It, it takes too long, too long, when I ask uh, Haluk Bilgenir for photo, they ask me to send email. I send email, he replied to me immediately. He was busy filming somewhere, and then I sent another email reminder after one year. Then he replied, okay, no problem, sorry, I didn't uh, notice, I am free next week. So it took me one and a half year. Evet, bu işe giriştiğinde e, çok iyi nokta atışlarından bir tanesini yapmış ve e, so you were to the point actually. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm adding uh, something <laughs> on it uh, uh, as well uh, for our broadcast. Uh, Haluk Bilginer'e yazıyor ve ondan sonra Haluk Bilginer hemen cevap veriyor ve aralarında bir e, diyalog başlıyor. Fakat bir sonraki mailini bir sonraki yıl, one year later. One year later we managed to talk <gülüyor> and evet. one, six months yani later we... yıl sonra bir öteki mailini kaçırıyor ve ondan sonra tekrar aa görmemişim falan derken tekrar aralarında bir diyalog kuruluyor. Bakalım. So he was a very very high gentleman, very good gentleman. He said, please come to my atelier, Oyun Ateliyesi. Oyun Ateliyesi. Yeah, we met for... Haluk Bilginer. We met two, three minutes, we talk, and we go down to the theater, down, theater, and I took his portrait photos in, in like three minutes, five minutes maximum, we finish, less than five minutes. I saw some of them on your Instagram yes, account. Yes, yes, correct, correct. I saw my Instagram. Bazılarını Instagram'dan da görmeniz mümkün aslında. Yayında and, da vereceğiz. And since I photograph Haluk Bilgener, everybody asked me, how you meet him? Can you photograph me? And then it opened the doors. Yeah, yeah. So Haluk Bilgener photo was a, a passport for me. <laughs> evet, yani e, ünlülerin fotoğrafını çekmek için aslında Haluk Bilginer'le başlamış ilk diyalog ve ondan sonra bütün kapılar açılmaya başlamış. Evet. Bir so, pasaport da adeta diyor benim için. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> then I met, uh, I have a friend, uh, actor, uh, a young actor, his name is Adnan. He's also on my Instagram. He connected me to other actors and actresses. And also, uh, I have other friends, actors also, they connected me to Ahmed Mumtaz Taylan, Tolga. Uh, Ahmed Mumtaz Taylan. Yes, and uh -huh. Tolga. You know, Tolga, Tolga Sarıtaş. Yeah. 
And also another friend, producer, I, I thank him a lot, uh, Gultekin Bayer. He connected me to, to we call him Zaza, uh, Zaza. Ali Bey. Mm -hmm. uh, and also other, photo other actors I met, when I meet someone, somebody is sitting. So I ask his permission to photograph. So it is by chance, by luck yeah. only. Mm -mm -mm. It's yeah. by chance to meet them. Ali Sarkana, Kush. Exactly. Yeah. Ali is a great musician also. Uh, he he play music. Yeah. Uh, so uh, always when I meet someone, I know someone as one lead to another one, and I hope uh, soon I will photograph a beautiful lady. Maybe tomorrow, where you will see her photos on my Instagram in next week. No, oh, okay. I ah, didn't no, photograph. It's like a chain reaction. Huh? Yes, yes, yes, and I like it. I like it because they admire the result. When they admire your work, you respect them, and they respect you. That's what I want, no, no more. All of this we do for art, for the sake of art. Uh, and uh, soon, maybe end of this year, I will try to make an art exhibition. Now, I am in photography 35 years, almost 37 years. I didn't make any exhibition yet, not one exhibition. Yeah, I saw on your uh, website, I think you, you have a project about uh, exhibition. I so will do my first exhibition Where this in year. Istanbul? Definitely, it has to be in Istanbul. Okay. I live here, I have to make it here. So you start... Uh, Preparing uh, the files, uh, the photos, choosing what category I want to do. Uh -huh. uh, because and contact I, people, uh, uh, organizers? Uh, not yet, not, not, not yet. I'm, I'm now looking for agent hmm. from your television. I, I'm saying I need to find photography agent in Turkey. If they are exist, I wish to meet one of them. Okay. Because uh, you have to have an agent uh, to do a professional work. Uh, like actors, they have agent. Musicians, they have agent. You know, the manager, they call it manager. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking to find a Turkish manager for photography business, photography arts business. So maybe this... Have you ever uh, take a photograph of any other celebrity people uh, all over the world? Uh, yes, I think I saw uh, yeah, you can see on, internet. on uh, my Instagram you can find a lot of, I photographed George Bush the father, yeah. I photographed George Bush the son, yes. <laughs> I photographed uh, Bill Clinton, Morgan but not, Freeman? not no. especially posing for me, hmm. it was during events, hmm. okay, not posing for me, who posed for me uh, as a celebrity or maybe he's not famous in our field, but he's the president of Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. cars. Mm -hmm. Today he is the president of Bugatti, the most expensive car in the world. So you can see sometimes a portrait in my account for famous people, but unknown for normal people. They are in no the cars feed. Uh, during the pandemics, we were talking about uh, doing art and uh, drawing with photography yes. project. Yes. The light also. Yes. This is a project I'm, I'm planning to do it since a long time, maybe since 15 years. Uh, but it cannot be done only by myself. I need to cooperate with the artist who can draw. Mm -hmm. Because I will ask the artist to go in front of the camera and he will use different type of light, lumber, to draw in the air. Evet, ışıkla çizmek yeni bir proje aslında, yeni bir proje tasarlıyor ama aynı zamanda sanatçılarla çalışacağı bir proje. Çünkü ışıkla resim çizmek ve fotoğraf bu işin içinde. And, and this painting with light, we call it painting with light. So the artist should paint in the air, in the empty space, in dark, totally darkness. Tamamıyla kapa, e, e, karanlıkta e, bir resim yapacak. And, and then I will catch what he's doing on camera. And you cannot see the result. Must we must do again and again and again to get. So so it's not easy to find a professional artist to cooperate and to give his time to do. Experienced, you know. Bu projeyi hayata geçirebilmek için böylesine de maharetli bir sanatçıyla ancak ortak bir proje yürütebiliriz. Bu benim tek başına yapabileceğim bir şey değil ama hayalim gerçekleştirilir. So I invite now from your television here that any artist, man or woman of course, who would like to do this experience with me, 
Let's do it. Tabii bu, bu e, projeyle ilgilenen e, böyle maharetli sanatçılar varsa da e, televizyon kanalınız aracılığıyla bunu da duyurmak isterim. Onları da bekleriz. Uh, this experience it was done with Picasso 1954 maybe long ago like almost 70 years ago. One photographer American he met Picasso in France maybe in Europe and he asked Picasso to use a normal lamp lamp hmm. to draw in the air. 1954 yılında Picasso ile böyle bir çalışmayı yapmış bir sanatçı uh, benzerini. That, that was for Life magazine. Very famous life, life. Uh, magazin için yapmış. So so Picasso said what will happen? Picasso don't know what's going on. Ve Picasso bu ne olduğundan bile habersiz. So, o sırada bunu yapıyor ama. So he drew in the air and the photographer took the picture and he showed Picasso working in the air and you can see the light making a drawing. E, Picasso bu resmi yaparken tıpkı yayının bundan önceki bölümünde kendisi için anlattığı projede olduğu gibi havada bu resmi yaparken fotoğraflar çekiyor, o ışık dolaşıyor. And dolaşıyor. of course in 60-70 years ago there's no digital, you cannot see the result. Tabii o yıllar 1970'lerde falan dijital kameralar da falan da yok. So the photographer need to go back to America and develop the film. Tabii fotoğrafçı <gülüyor> ne yapmak zorunda? Amerika'ya gidip o fotoğrafları develope ettiriyor. And to see the result and then sonucu görebilsin. To send to Picasso to approve it. Ve e, <gülüyor> Picasso'ya onaylaması için gönderiyor. And, and you know how long this will take? Maybe e, one tam, month, two months. E, tabii ki bu çok bayağı bir zaman alıyor. And then Life magazine published the photos with interview with Picasso. Ve Life And, Magazine e, bu fotoğrafı e, yayınlıyor. So I think we can find from the archives of the It is Life online. Magazine. You can you can find it oh, online. It's online. Yeah. Okay. Since since that time, 65 years maybe, nobody tried to do the same with another foot artist. Yani between... o yıllardan bu yana aradan e, bu kadar yıl geçmiş kimse bunu bir daha denemek istememiş. So now here in Turkey I see very big potential to do this art with one artist, famous artist. Uh, işte bu Türkiye'de yeni bir e, olanak aslında meşhur bir artistle bunu yapabiliyor olmak. It's not necessary to be famous actually. No no no, be, not necessary uh, to be famous. It could... Because the person after 70 years the person uh, make it uh, even not a famous one will be famous at yes, the end. So... Yes yes yes. <laughs> So it's Correct. like a like self-fulfilling But prophecy. The, the, different, the different what I will do with the artist that I will combine his drawing with the light into a background of Istanbul. Oh, that's yeah, an it idea. Will, it will be mixed with the so, Istanbul iconic places. Artist, me. Three, peop, three, three elements. Camera, artist and the background of iconic place. And the drawing should be connected to the place. Yani for example, Galata Tower. I see. Yeah. The artist will draw light related to Galata Tower from a distance. So I will combine his work with, with the background. Your photographs. My uh, photograph will archive okay. what he do with the background. Oh, we will try to connect to connect the drawing with the background. So that's something new also. It oh, is a new, yeah. but it need a lot of time to be to like, let it happen. We have to work several prova. Ee, tabii burada kendisi yani o 70 yıl önceki de, de, projeden e, farklı olarak e, kendisi fikri de sanatçı bunu yaptıktan sonra bu havada resimleri çizip e, oluşturduktan sonra ışıkla e, kendisi de İstanbul'un fotoğraflarını yani tarihi mekanlarını historical places you mean hmm. e, figures or, or, or, or like modern. Leander Tower, Galata Tower, Maybe or Bosphorus, Edith, Bridge. Bosphorus Bridge yani İstanbul'daki e, bu bilinen e, tarihi mekanların figürlerini aynı zamanda bu sanatçının yapmış olduğu ışıklı figürlerin yanına birleştirerek ortaya koymak ve bir üçlü yapıyı e, hayata geçirmek istiyor. Yani bir tarafta bir kamera oluyor, e, fotoğraf makinesi oluyor e, ve iki ayrı biri e, artist, e, diğeri de fotoğraf sanatçısı e, kendisinin yaptığı eserler oluyor. Uh, so two artists meets in one project yes. with the camera. Exactly. Okay. And two artists from different field, photography, drawing. So it's good to com to combine. Yeah, it's like a fusion. It's a fusion, exactly. Yeah. So I'm looking for an artist to join me with this. Also, I open this to everybody. <laughs> That's a nice idea. So, and, and these uh, photos will be part of the exhibition, of course. I have a question because I review your uh, uh, website and I, I, 
I, I, I'm fan of uh, horse races mm -hmm. and horse, actually. Have you ever tried horse riding? Yes, horse I, no, not horse riding. I photograph horses. Mm. I photograph the Arabian expensive horses, beauty. They sell it for beauty. They don't ride. Mm. They only look at it. Some horses are $5 million, $3 million. So I always uh, cover the event in Dubai, in Qatar, in Kuwait, uh, Oman, for the original beautiful horses. And I photograph it only, but no, I don't ride Not horses. horse races. No, I, I did polo photography, which is very tough sport. Yeah. You know, they fight with the horses. Really? And I would like to do uh, horses. No, actually, I did horses here in Turkey last year with a victory man, his friend of mine in Gibze. He have a horse uh, farm and he trained people. And we did some studio photography in the nature. I took my lighting. And we make I a setup. I think we know the same person, Nejat's uh, friend. Uh, yes, I yes, think. it can yeah, be. Yeah. Uh, and and we did the wonderful photos. You can see it yeah, on my Instagram. That, uh, yeah, I I, I contact uh, with him once. Bu arada benim tabi hobilerimden bir tanesi atlar olduğu için kendisine at yarışlarıyla ilgili de fotoğraf çekti mi diye sordum da sadece Türkiye'de değil, Türkiye'de de geçen sene Gebze'de çekmiş ama öncesinde Dubai'de, in Dubai, horse... Beauty. No, horse beauty in Dubai or which Arabic country? No, in, in Kuwait, in Kuwait, Dubai and in Qatar. Kuwait, Dubai ve Katar'da at resimleri daha önce fotoğrafları çekmiş. And here in Turkey, I did only one photo session for horses. I told you it was a big setup. We took lighting, we took background, and we shoot in the nature. And he is very professional. Erkan Bey is very professional in horse riding. Mm -hmm. So you can see the photos on my account. And I will send you by email more photos. It's not published. Yeah. You, can, you can use it for this interview. Oh, OK. So. What does I own the globe mean? So what, why is your motto then? <laughs> Good, you catch it on my website. I own the globe, it's very simple. It's like I, I, am, I would like to be anywhere, anytime. Hmm. Uh, but you know, in the globe now, I mean the whole earth, the globe is the earth. Uh, you need visas, you need this passport, don't get visa there. This visa cannot allow you to go here. So they make our life complicated. I like to visit anywhere in the world without any complications to take photos. But it's not that easy these days. So I decided to stay in Turkey for a while, relax. Mm -hmm. And then later I do travel again. I travel to almost 50 countries, 45 maybe, 48. But, uh, and I took photos everywhere, but not everywhere, 100%. I still have a lot to do. So I wish to go everywhere on the globe. If oh, possible. So it's the same uh, target you have. I've been to 107 countries wow. totally. Good. Evet. O da e, 58'i Türkçe gezmiş. E, ve kendisine web sitesinde de yazan bir e, sloganı var. I own the globe. Bu dünya benim diyor yani. Yer küre benim diyor. E, dünyanın neresine gidersek gidelim. Böyle bir sürü vizeler, sınırlar vesaire prosedürler, bir sürü bürokratik şeyler var, engeller var falan. Her yerde olmak istiyorum. Çünkü sanat için ben bunları yapmak zorundayım. E, böyle olmalı diyor. Ve e, onlardan bahsediyor. Ve aslında hani o da dünyayı bitirmek istiyor. O, bu anlamda baktığımızda ortak bir hedefimiz olduğunu da ben e, görebiliyorum. So I said uh, we have the uh, same target actually uh, traveling all over the world but not only traveling but also Do producing and doing something. Yeah, traveling for tourism it's something funny. I don't yeah. like it. I cannot travel for tourism. Uh, I, you know since 30 years I never took vacation. I never take vacation because I feel every day could be a vacation if you are enjoying. So vacation in the meaning of do nothing I don't agree with that. Evet. Even in vacation, I do something. Evet. Ee, o da benim de e, çok benzer bir şekilde e, gittiği yerlerde sadece gitmiş olmak için gitmek ya da turist olmak, bakmak e, ve dönmek şeklinde değil. Aynı zamanda üretmek için ve bir şeyler yapmak için e, bu ziyaretleri yapıyor ve 30 senedir hiçbir yere öyle bir hani tatil olsun e, olmuş olsun diye gitmedim e, diyor. So, how how is the feeling with uh, working uh, with uh, celebrity people? Uh, look, celebrity people in Turkey are very nice. The one I, the people I deal with them, every time I met any person, man or woman, they are very gentle, very respectful, and it's nice. You feel comfortable. 
comfort to deal with them. It's very nice. They listen to you, they respect your opinion, and uh, they, they don't push you to approve the photo. They trust the artist. Mm. So I took photos, and they didn't look at my camera to check good or not good. Later, they can see the result, and they said, okay, thank you, it was nice. So it's very flexible to deal with the Turkish actors, celebrities, and, and actresses. Uh, I didn't uh, experience this out before Turkey. In Turkey, are very, they are very nice. Yeah. Of course, the issue of the issue of the issue of the issue of the issue of the issue of the issue of the issue of the issue of the issue of the issue of the issue of the issue of the issue of the issue of the issue of Ee, son derece nazikler, kibarlar ve sanatçıya güveniyorlar. Fotoğraf sanatçısını tekrardan fotoğrafı approve etmek için yani onaylamak için bile gereksinim duymuyorlar. Ee, çünkü sanata güveniyorlar, sanatçılığına e, güveniyorlar. O anlamda çok rahat çalışıyorum diyor. So any new projects uh, on the horizon? Ufukta yeni projeler var mı? Uh, I told you I'm doing this, I wish to do this lighting exhibition. exhibition. Lighting. The exhibition will include the light painting, mm -hmm. some other photos I have, and maybe I need to do a landscape because Turkey is very beautiful. You have amazing landscape everywhere. Mm -hmm. Nature, uh, mountains, rivers, the sea, salt lake. You have almost in, in, all kind of nature, and, uh, and I would like to travel in Turkey more and more to take a professional landscape photos. So, so it's like a National Geographic photo. Uh, you can say, uh, yeah, you can say something yeah, like that. And what about the movie project or uh, like documentary? Yes, so actually... you're into documentaries as well, I think, uh, to a certain extent. So. Beside my photography career, I am a professional filmmaker. Uh, so I am producer, director at the same time. I oh, only produce... Just a minute. Uh, şimdi kendisine başka projeler var mı diye yönlendirdiğim soruya landscape yani manzara fotoğrafları tabi güzellikleri olan bir ülkede yaşıyorum ve bunların da fotoğraflarını çekmek istiyorum gezerek fotoğraflarını çekmek istiyorum dedi ve ben de kendisine aynı zamanda bunları bir belgesel niteliğine dönüştürmek ister misiniz çünkü belgeselle de ilgilendiğinizi biliyorum uh, araştırmamdan diye e, sorduğumda e, aynı zamanda e, film e, ve belgesel e, yönettiğini ve prodüser olduğunu e, söyledi so as, as a filmmaker and uh, director at the same time, I do only my work. I don't do films for others. I do what I think about and some documentaries I would like to do in Turkey about a lot of uh, topics, uh, mostly into industry, into agriculture, into nature, uh, into culture and the music and food. So a lot of ideas I have, it's ready, but I'm looking now for a television to adopt and to tell me, okay, let's do it. I have uh, scripts or uh, synopsis for five episode documentary. Let's make it for the uh, talk of other uh, program. That's an interesting project. Mm -hmm. uh, ve uh, kendisinin bu projesiyle ilgili gele gelecek televizyon programlarında da kendisini konuk olarak ağırladığımızda da yeniden e, değiniriz elbette. E, bu bir proje e, şekline getirmek istiyor ve bu yönettiği filmleri falan öncelikle ilk başta kendisi için yapmamış. Yani bunları kendisi e, planlamış ama bunları hayata geçirmek ve büyütmek istiyor ki bu işte tarım olabilir, uh, agriculture, culture, agriculture, culture, agriculture uh, industry, uh, industry olabilir, uh, uh, farklı farklı uh, konular music, olabilir. Music, music, about the music also because Turkey very rich in music from different historical cultures from east to west, north to south. You have a lot of variety in music, in dancing. It can be um, uh, it can be merged uh, with other projects as well in the festivals. So it's going to be it can be like a thematic documentary. So it can be part of a different project. Also. Def definitely, definitely. Uh, so. But but every documentary need uh, its own time to do and preparation to make it very professional. Not a short documentary. I'm talking about 52 minutes documentary. Yeah which is mean full documentary, which you can show it on a big television around the world, like DW, on uh, Al Jazeera, on uh, TV Sank, on Turk TRT World. It can show anywhere. But at the end, it's a documentary will present Turkey in a good way. What is your view about 
about uh, supporting uh, in, in social responsibility projects in this regard, if there is any. Yes, so of course, of course. I have a couple of documentaries in mind about this, uh, especially uh, anti-smoking. I am anti-smoking mm. and I'm working on documentary, if I can, uh, to show awareness against smoking. So, uh, <laughs> uh, biraz önceki anlatımından sonra bu uh, yap, yapmak istediği çalışmasından sonra kendisine aynı zamanda sosyal sorumluluk projelerine de ne kadar sıcak baktığını uh, uh, sordum. Onlara evet dedi ben de yapmak istediğim bir proje var. Ben uh, sigara içmeyen bir insanım ve sigaraya karşı bir şeyler yapmak istiyorum. Uh, and and this kind of documentary need a big support from different department in the government from the health department from the you know um, what you call it agriculture department from the city from the municipality Belediya. Hmm. everybody should support me to make it in a professional and good way because i see honestly in 4 years in turkey i didn't see awareness against smoking i see kids smoking 12 years in school it's too much. Evet, sosyal sigo, e, sosyal e, sorumluluk projeleri anlamında en çok e, öncelik verdiği proje e, ki devletin de buna destek olacağını düşündüğü Sağlık Bakanlığından Tarım Bakanlığına, şehircilikle ilgili olan e, bakanlıklara, belediyelere, e, belediyelerin buna sıcak bakacağını düşündüğü e, ve e, ufacık çocukların dahi sigara içmesinden aslında e, içmesine üzüldüğünü söylediği e, bir proje bu kafasındaki sosyal sorumluluk anlayışını böyle özetliyor. It's a, it's a social responsibility we call it. Evet. To aware people about something not good to make it better. That's it. <gülüyor> It was very nice talk. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you really for this opportunity. Here and hope to uh, meet you again in sure, this program sure. and uh, bir yayınımızın daha sonuna geldik. Ben Çiğdem Yorgancıoğlu, Çiğ Çiğ Talks, Art Çiğ Talks'ta Nasır Yunus'u ağırladık ve hoşça kalın diyoruz. Sağlıklı, güzel günler diliyoruz. Hoşça kalın.